everybody. Today is Pentecost when the church remembers the Holy Spirit. In the Bible, the Holy Spirit is sometimes called the wind. And today we're going to hear a story about a windy day. Are you ready? Then I'll begin. It's a windy day and Teddy Horsley is a puzzled bear. He, can, he opens his eyes to look for the wind and cannot see it. But he sees the wind shake apples down. And he sees the wind turn the washing inside out. And he sees the wind blow paper along the street. Teddy Horsley stretches out his paws to touch the wind and cannot feel it. But he feels the wind pushing him along in his boat. And he feels the wind tug his kite into the sky. And he feels the wind drive rain into his face. Teddy Horsley pricks up his ears to listen to the wind and he cannot hear it. But he hears the wind rattle dustbin lids. And he hears the wind slam the doors shut. And he hears the wind whistle through the trees. Teddy Horsley knows that the wind is there all around him. The church is celebrating Pentecost and Teddy Horsley is a puzzled bear. He opens his eyes to look for the Holy Spirit and cannot see her. But he sees the Holy Spirit making people smile and dance. Teddy Horsley stretches out his paws to touch the Holy Spirit and cannot feel her. But he feels the Holy Spirit making him feel safe and loved. Teddy Horsley pricks up his ears to listen to the Holy Spirit and cannot hear her. But he hears the Holy Spirit making people sing and laugh. Teddy Horsley knows that the Holy Spirit is there all around him. I hope you enjoyed that story about the Holy Spirit. Take care and I'll see you again another time. Bye-bye.
Hola. Hello. <laughs> Welcome. It's lovely to meet with you again today. Later on, you will understand why I said welcome and hello in some different languages today. Today, you listen to the story of Teddy Horsley on a windy day, the story of Pentecost. Pentecost is the church's birthday. It's a wonderful day when we celebrate the gift of the Holy Spirit. When Jesus went back to heaven, he told his friends that he was going to send them a present, a gift. And the gift was going to be their friend. The gift was going to give them power so that they could tell other people about God's love. So 50 days after Easter, Jesus' friends were gathered together in a room when suddenly they heard the noise of a wind. <laughs> woo! 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 Gosh, they looked around. Now, I have in my garden, I've got some wind chimes that I'm going to show you. And when the wind blows, they're really noisy. So be ready because this is going to make lots of noise. And just like Teddy Horsley, I can't see the wind, but I can hear the chimes going and I know the wind is at work. But that's not all. So the wind came. I think it was probably louder than a tornado. It was really noisy. But then when they looked around, they saw that on top of everybody's head, there were flames coming out. And you know, that's not all. When they opened their mouths to praise God, they began to speak in lots of different languages. Now in Jerusalem, there was a festival and people had come from all over to come to this festival. People who spoke many different languages. But the amazing thing was that each one of them heard their own language being spoken. And then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, spoke to the people and he told them that Jesus was the Son of God, that God loved them and he wanted to save them. And on that day, 3,000 people became Christians. And that's why it's called the birthday of the church. So now we're going to pray. So I thought today for our prayers, I've got two ideas. One's an action prayer, and the other is something that you could do with your families later on today or maybe during the week. So for the action prayer, we say, Spirit of the living God, fall afresh, fall afresh on me. Again, Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. Then it's melt me. Can you do that? Melt me. Mould me. And then you make your hands like this, like a cup. Fill me and use me. Okay, we're going to do that all together. Ready? Spirit of the living God, Fall afresh on me. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. Melt me, mould me, fill me, use me. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. My other idea is that you find a candle, hopefully you've got a candle somewhere in your house, and you get one of the adults to light the candle. And you 
all sit round and look at the flame and you remember the gift of the Holy Spirit and you remember that Teddy Horsley said that he felt safe and loved and remember that the gift of the Holy Spirit to you today is that you are safe and you are loved and maybe after a few minutes of watching the flame you could ask God to show you how he wants to use you to show his love to other people this week. And then when you finish, you could blow the candle out. So today we've learned about the birth of the church. I look forward to seeing you all next week. Bye.